thank you very much indeed. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to take a uh, long time. Uh, at the beginning, I just would like to thank Professor Alam for this uh, beautiful conference and for the hard effort and uh, he and his colleagues and the staff bringing us here to this beautiful city and uh, coming together. Uh, importantly for me, in fact, is the social network and to get to know people, to get to interact with people. This is quite important if we need to have any kind of results or any work to be done and reflected in our own country. Uh, my talk is going to revolve, as you can see here, around the, uh, the word knowledge economy. This is a, a key word nowadays, in fact, in most of the economies in the globalized economy. And uh, uh, I'm going to, to, to question, uh, uh, bring uh, uh, about two questions, in fact, uh, regarding this issue, in particular domain in the Sudan. And this is the, uh, the, the, uh, the fly about the, uh, uh, my outline, just a usual outline that is going to be uh, there. And please forgive me if uh, there are some limitations or shortages in my presentation or my research because I just done it in a short notice. In fact, uh, I, 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 instead of coming to just uh, to see people, I said, okay, why not contributing also by something that is, might be interesting and can be taken over and forward uh, investigating the deeper uh, uh, levels. So uh, these are the, the lines that I'm going to, to, to visit, in fact, in my presentation. And uh, I'm, I'm going to start by a simple uh, uh, introduction, in fact. I think most of you are quite familiar with the uh, concept of knowledge economy. And those who do not uh, uh, know about it or just need to have some information, it's kind of simple term, in fact. Uh, by knowledge economy, that means we have to involve uh, knowledge and technology in the process of economic growth and development. This is simple as that, okay? So that knowledge that you have, you have to reflect it into kind of growth and development in the, in the whole uh, system of your economic uh, system. And this is uh, the definition, in fact, uh, uh, there. And it's a kind of trying to contrast between two uh, uh, type of economies, in fact, nowadays, and uh, globalized or modern economy, which is the, the, the kind of economy that involves the knowledge uh, in terms of creation as well as use, and, and, and uh, in, uh, in addition to other uh, innovative activities, in fact, in trying to help the country into growth economically and develop also economically and uh, following uh, social dimensions as well. This is contrasting the, 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 uh, the traditional uh, uh, resource-based economy, in fact, where in this case we have uh, usual uh, kind of uh, dependence on uh, natural resources, be uh, this resources kind of uh, oil or maybe kind of mineral or kind of uh, uh, even agriculture, in fact. Uh, 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 and this is, uh, as mentioned in the previous uh, presentation by Professor Gordon, that is, it has some, some kind of problems and some kind of uh, cures to, 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 in fact, to be uh, uh, brought about into attention and the kind of the dust, dust disease. And that the, the dependence on natural resource, in fact, might diminish in fact, the growth or the bringing about other, uh, other uh, sectors of the economy that can, might contribute together, in fact, in the enriching the country. And also, if you depend on kind of uh, one uh, kind of resource, then you might be open to many troubles, kind of political troubles, instability, uh, one of them, of the country, uh, of the political system, as well as the economic prices, like if you talk about uh, oil, prices up and down, Okay, so just you are going to, to fluctuate, in fact, as the, the market fluctuates as well. Uh, but if uh, uh, natural resources are, are uh, managed well, uh, and, and uh, where we have kind of uh, uh, utilizing human capital, in fact, in running these kind of resources and managing them, and using uh, knowledge, that I think that is going to be for the benefit, okay, and just reduce the risk of any, uh, like, uh, any, any feed, uh, negative feedback from having this kind of economy. Uh, the rationale of this short study, in fact, is, is, is uh, I'm going to uh, ask simple, uh, uh, innocent questions, in fact, uh, question here. Number one, uh, uh, does uh, knowledge economy exist in the Sudan? And this is, might be a very trivial question, and uh, people say, is it a sarcastic question? No, it is not, but we are trying to find an answer to this question. Uh, if uh, the answer is yes to this question, then we are going to follow, in fact, uh, further to look at how developed this kind of uh, 
knowledge economy exists in the Sudan. Okay? The whole uh, rationale, in fact, is try to put our, uh, ourselves in a kind of ob in an objective way uh, using some indicator to find where we stand. Okay? And if, 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 if you try to, to, to move forward, in fact, you, you have to, to, to build some kind of uh, system, uh, scientific system that will help you. One of these important issues is that, in, in fact, you have to study and you have to look around uh, around you and to find out what resources you have, how far you develop, are we doing the right thing, and the kind of questions usually relevant in these kind of uh, circumstances. Uh, uh, the methodology that I'm going to use, I'm kind of a, a statistician in fact, so I'm going to use quantitative approach in, in trying to answer these two questions, existence as well as the development of, of, of uh, knowledge economy in, in, in the Sudan. So uh, the evidence that I'm going to bring to answer this question, in fact, are, are going to be depending on international data. And this is the kind of data that I'm not going to say that we are going to have 100% trust about them, but they have their problems, in fact. Uh, but, in fact, they're more trustable than other kind of data, okay? Because come from international, uh, and they have no issue, maybe, uh, of just uh, segregating against one country over the other. So, uh, uh, just we're going to use some kind of indicators, in fact, to indicate the existence as well as the development of, uh, uh, of uh, knowledge economy in the country. And here, we are going to use uh, two kind of uh, procedures or two kinds of uh, knowledge, uh, in fact, that uh, uh, we are going to, to uh, stress on. The tacit knowledge, uh, 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 we use indicators of this uh, knowledge, in fact, to answer the question of existence of uh, uh, knowledge economy in the country, uh, Sudan. And uh, the second uh, kind of uh, knowledge that we're going to concentrate on is uh, explicit or kind of codified knowledge, okay? So we're going to produce some indicators that might help us to answer the question, the second question of how develop the country in terms of uh, move towards knowledge economy. And then we have, uh, uh, in order to find out, in fact, if you are in a race, in fact, uh, then you have to learn, turn left and right to see who are, who are the, your neighbors, in fact, and, and then start running and try to compete and, 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 and be in the front, if, if that's possible. So uh, uh, we have kind of comparative study, in fact, uh, looking at the peer for Sudan uh, countries that may be the same level. I didn't, I didn't travel west far, just look at our region, uh, looking at Ethiopia and looking at Uganda, looking at Kenya and then look at our Arab uh, uh, counterparts, uh, like, uh, like uh, Egypt, very important to look at, in fact, and uh, as well as Tunisia, okay, which is a kind of uh, a country which has no uh, resources, that is, uh, which can be found in, in the Gulf countries. I did look at the Gulf countries, but as a, a benchmark, because we are going to look a little bit far in terms of uh, how uh, did they travel and how are we going to compare uh, to these uh, countries. Uh, before I just skip into the, the, the real uh, answer to the question, I just have some background uh, uh, look at uh, Sudan. And as you can see here, uh, Sudan is after secession of the south. In fact, uh, the area is left 1.86 million square meters. It's still huge. I think it's number two in Africa now. It used to be number one. Uh, still huge uh, in area. We still you have uh, big lands, and still we can manage many things there. And population is 28.7 million, and this is according to the National Baseline uh, Household Survey, conducted in uh, 2009, published 2010. And this is excluding, of course, this, uh, the nomads, not included, and the homeless, as well, not included, together with displaced and refugees camp. This is not included in this uh, uh, count. Uh, the average family, in fact, about uh, nine person per family. This is the average family size in Sudan. It's still big family size. It's still we keep uh, social ties. And uh, 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 share of the population, in fact, uh, surprisingly, two thirds of the population is a like rural uh, population, okay? rural, living in the rural areas. So the urban, in fact, taking all the electricity, taking everything, just represent one third of the total population of the countries. Okay? Uh, uh, surprisingly, Sudan is a young, very young country in terms of population. If you talk about uh, 48, 43% 40, uh, of the population less than 19 years. And this is the last survey of uh, NBHS, less than 
uh, 15 years, about half of the population, in fact, roughly, if you can say, is still young. If you have to take between uh, 15 years up to uh, 30, uh, the 30 years, you get about 28%. So all, all in all, if you take uh, about uh, more than two-thirds are less than 30 years old. Okay, this is very young, and, and still there, there, uh, there are big potentials, in fact, for development, because we have, if we, we manage this population well. And the labor force, in fact, uh, represents uh, those who are 15 years and above, uh, represent 48% uh, of the population. Uh, three quarters of them are males, in fact. And unemployment rate, uh, I don't trust this number, I don't know why, but it looks as if, as if it is 13%, okay, unemployment. But by observation, in fact, you can tell that it might be more than that. It uh, depends on the definition that I follow, in fact, to, to present this figure. And poverty is very important and very sad figure, in fact. Poverty is uh, almost 50%. This is uh, per household, in fact. Uh, households that uh, in fact, own uh, uh, have income of less than uh, 114 pounds, Sudanese pound. And this is for official figure, in fact, okay, based on the uh, uh, Central Bureau of Statistics uh, survey, last survey. Uh, how do we do compared to our neighbors, in fact? These are the, the, the countries that, in fact, I just uh, uh, involved in my conversation. I look at uh, our uh, uh, peer uh, uh, countries. Uh, Ethiopia is, is, is very important to us as a, as a country, in fact. Uganda also to the south, and Kenya also to the, used to be our close neighbor, but now has uh, separated between uh, us, uh, the South Sudan. And if you look at uh, per capita, uh, per capita uh, uh, GDP, in fact, measured in uh, US uh, PP, uh, uh, this is according to uh, figures 2000. Uh, Sudan is doing well compared to African colleagues, in fact. If you look at this figure, it says it's per person, uh, 2,162 uh, uh, US dollars, in fact. This is double of the GDP for uh, Ethiopia and almost also double of uh, Uganda, and uh, it's a little bit higher than uh, uh, Kenya. But compared to the Arab colleagues uh, in, in Egypt and Tunisia, uh, there's quite a big uh, difference in here. And the Gulf countries, in fact, are rocketing up in, in terms of uh, GDP per, per capita. Okay? Okay. The growth, in fact, what's happening, in fact, you see the negative figure for Sudan, in fact. And the, and the year follows the, uh, follows the exportation of uh, petrol, in fact, in 1999, and Sudan witnessed very uh, uh, high growth, in fact, uh, in, in GDP and uh, income. But uh, due to cessation of the thousand, in fact, things are not uh, going well, and the country is getting, since 2005, getting into a negative growth, in fact. Okay, this is up to 2012. Okay? Uh, and and uh, if you compare to Ethiopia, Ethiopia is doing well now, nowadays, in fact, 8.5 in terms of, okay? okay? So uh, poverty, this is per count, this is official debt, per, per count, per head, in fact, uh, less than $2. And this is uh, Sudan, also better than uh, the African colleagues and, uh, and compared to the other. Okay? And the human capital uh, uh, index, having three uh, uh, indicators, in fact, see some indices talking about uh, health, uh, the measure that's involved in this, uh, measuring on this uh, index, as well as income together with uh, education, uh, every number of schooling, schooling years. So uh, uh, Sudan, in fact, ranked very far away from, 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 uh, from, from the rest of the list, okay, uh, under the list uh, of, the, uh, of the, the world race, in fact. And life expectancy, uh, we look alike, in fact, with African, but uh, a little bit different from the uh, uh, our Arab colleagues. Okay, okay so let me just look at the tacit knowledge, knowledge that I just mentioned at the beginning. What do you mean by that? This is the, the knowledge that you own. This is your own. This is your skill that you get. Okay, something that you cannot transfer easy, easily into somebody else through, for example, email through any uh, media else. Okay, so uh, this is what you mean. Okay, so it is kind of difficult to transfer from one person to other. So you have to employ the person himself or herself to to do the, the, the work or to, to application of the, the work. And it is difficult to transfer, in fact, and, uh, and, but can be shared by interactive, highly interactive between those who have the knowledge and those who don't have, okay? 
So uh, uh, in order to measure this uh, kind of uh, tacit knowledge, which is going to give us how, uh, what the level of, uh, 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 of knowledge you can have, we, uh, we use, in fact, there are several indicators in the literature. And the one that we have employed, in fact, is the literacy rate. Okay? And this impact, if you look at the practice, practice what is the impact of literacy is going to be on the knowledge, in fact, knowledge economy. And we look also at, at the enrollment in church and education, okay, above the secondary level, and number of researchers and technicians. This is very important because uh, this is you're trying to build capability uh, of researchers, technical staff that uh, yeah, you have to increase your production level and production of new ideas and data of information. This is very essential if you. So these uh, three indicators, in fact, we thought they're going to be useful to give us idea about the presence of, uh, of knowledge. So let us look at, 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 at evidence in this, in this, relating to these uh, uh, kind of uh, indicators, in fact. Uh, if you look at, let me just start by literacy. Okay? Uh, literacy is uh, just, uh, the rate of adults 15 years and above, uh, this is B, figure B, who have uh, literacy. Just read and write simple sentences and do with simple mathematics. And uh, the country, in fact, uh, Sudan is, uh, Okay, it's, it's, it's compared to African, it's 75.9 percent. Okay, of the population, in fact, uh, uh, can do this simple writing and, 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 and reading, uh, and, and simple arithmetic, and and, uh, and 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 almost you cannot differentiate between the African colleagues uh, in this manner. But if you look at Egypt, they are doing, uh, 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 we are, are doing better than Egypt. Even this is a very very important thing just to note here from this. But did you see, if you take the average, they are doing better, uh, the 90s, in fact. Uh, if you to move a little bit into enrollment into tertiary education, just giving us indication of how, how we build capabilities for, for those uh, can, can deal with the production of ideas and so on and so forth. And, okay, uh, how many minutes I got? Two minutes? Okay, no problem. And this, uh, Sudan, in fact, it stands, uh, uh, this is the number, the counts, there are 100,000, okay? So we found that uh, 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 in each 100,000, those are into, uh, uh, Ethiopia is looking, doing better than Sudan in this case, of course, if you look at Ethiopia here. And uh, Sudan also doing better than uh, only Uganda and Kenya, okay? Uh, but uh, compared to the rest, you still have some homework to do, in fact. Okay? Number of researchers, this is com com comes as uh, uh, another indicator telling us how far, uh, where we stand. And, 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 and as you can see here, uh, uh, also our stand in kind of average compared to this group of, of, of colleagues that we are, we are using. And technician also here, uh, Sudan doing better than the African colleagues that we are talking about. That's producing more technician compared uh, to other uh, colleagues. But if you talk about Kenya, uh, it's kind of uh, having a high level of, so that uh, in, in each southern you have about less than one technician. This is kind of very weak, isn't it? Very weak figure. Okay, explicit, this is a kind of knowledge that you can transfer. We use two indicators, in fact, to, to indicate this kind of uh, development. That, uh, so how much the government is spending on education and how much is spent on research and development. This is another indicator, okay? So uh, looking at this, in fact, uh, we find that uh, the lowest expenditure on education is in Sudan. And this is kind of, uh, it looks shameful, isn't it? as well as in, in, in if you look at the, uh, at the uh, uh, spending on research and development, except Kuwait, uh, Kuwait. I don't know why, why Kuwait is doing this. I, I'm not sure something that, about this, but uh, Sudan is uh, the lowest, uh, uh, better than Kuwait, uh, and I don't know what is. And this is, Kuwait figure is 2011, very recent figure, in fact. That's, uh, so if you have problem is spending on education, because uh, as well as spending on research and development as well. Uh, uh, and the last here, in fact, uh, the uh, indicators of uh, knowledge economy. Uh, these are two uh, indicators, in fact, used by the World, uh, uh, world uh, uh, Organization, in fact, to, 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 to measure how prepared the, 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 the country is to, to go forward in the knowledge economy uh, uh, stage. And we have two, uh, these are the kind of uh, uh, indicators that you have. I think the details are available in the, in the report. You can look at them. And uh, the knowledge economy, in fact, uh, indicator, uh, this one, in fact, this is a uh, knowledge economy indicator. It's talk about how uh, our uh, infrastructure 
okay, in ICT, okay, in terms of uh, connection, connectivity. And it talks also about the innovations, innovations that we have in terms of patents, how many patents, in fact, we report, and number of journal articles that we produce. And it talks about also education and the level of literacy and so on. And then it talks also about the economic uh, institution that we have, in fact. And the knowledge index, in fact, is the same thing, but uh, constrained to all of the three, three indicators. And if you look at this, in fact, this is where we stand, in fact. We stand uh, uh, not, uh, is this, this is our stand, in fact, compared to the group that we are uh, talking about, in fact, yeah? So in terms of the, the, the knowledge uh, economic, economic indicator and as well as the knowledge index indicator. Yeah? So just to, to leave you with this conclusion, I'm not going to take more time of uh, uh, your time. This is a kind of, uh, this kind of uh, lack of uh, many aspects of knowledge economy, including low investment in education. This is very kind of uh, uh, clearly look, uh, coming out, and as well as in research and development. Uh, so uh, I hope that this uh, kind of uh, studies, in fact, is not deep, uh, but it uh, could be deep, in fact, to look into. And, and more than that, I think uh, this kind of study should be taken seriously. If, some strategies and develop uh, plans are to be followed. And if there are uh, clear intentions for taking uh, the country forward in, in to compete or, or, uh, in, in their world economies, in fact. Thank you very much for your time. I'm sorry for this time. Yeah.